Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to be talking about hydration and how you can log hydration using your Garmin Instinct watch. And uh, usually I go into my spiel about what version of Garmin Instinct I have and how it doesn't matter. But for this video, unfortunately, you don't really need the Garmin Instinct watch at all uh, because the hydration feature is only available on the Garmin Connect app. So uh, it's kind of tied to it. You can use Garmin Connect to track your hydration, but in terms of seeing it or entering it on your Garmin Instinct watch, currently as of January 4th, 2021, that's not available. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop this video and I'm gonna go on my cell phone and show you how you can do it using your Garmin Connect app. Okay, so once you're on your cell phone, you're gonna to wanna to open the Garmin Connect app. And then once it's open, you'll notice on my day, it's showing hydration, 16 ounces. Uh, if you're not seeing hydration in your day, you might need to make sure that you've got it viewable and that it's not a hidden tab. And the way you do that is if you go all the way to the bottom, you can click on edit my day, and you should see all of the items that are displayed as well as any items that are hidden. So for example, now I've got hydration hidden. If I save, and I go back, you don't see hydration anymore on my day. So if yours looks like that, again, you'll just want to go to edit my day and make sure that you've got hydration showing. And then the three lines over to the side is you can move it wherever you want to. So if you'd rather see it up top, you can do that. You can set it any way you want. So anyway, we've got hydration showing in our day. If we want to add hydration, all we're going to do is right here, there's a section where you can add your weight, you can add your activity, or you can add hydration. You're just going to click on that, and that will take you into the hydration page for the given day. You'll notice for my day, I've already logged 16 ounces. I'm at 16% of my goal of 96 ounces. You can use the arrow keys up at the top to go back to a previous day. You'll also notice at the top there's a help section that kind of talks you to, talks you talks to you about the basics of hydration. Um, so when you're storing your hydration, they recommend you're only storing straight water intake. If you're like me and you drink a lot of coffee or tea or Cokes, that's not really hydration. It's more just straight water. So anyway, there's that. The one thing I'll show you is at the bottom. So for example, let's say for yesterday, I want to add some water. I can use the quick links at the bottom to just add ounces or cups, depending on what my quick links are set on. The other thing I'll show you is if you're on the, notice that I'm on the prior day and there's a help section up in the top corner. If you go to your current day, that help section turns into three dots. If you click on the three dots, you can go into the settings for your hydration and you can adjust things like, do you want your units to be in cups or do you want it to be in ounces or milliliters? Also, you can adjust your daily goal or you can set up an automatic daily goal. Auto increase means if you hit your daily goal on a regular basis, it'll start increasing your goal for you. You can turn that on or you can turn that off or you can enter any value you want to for your daily goal. The other thing is your quick links. For container one, I have it set to one ounce. You can click on that and you can change that to whatever value you want. The one thing that's kind of a negative with the hydration on the Garmin Instinct is it has to be in whole numbers. You can't do decimal points. So in my case, I'm drinking out of a water bottle that's 16.9 ounces. Unfortunately, I can't put in 16.9 ounces. I have to either enter 16 or I have to enter 17, but I can't do 16.9. But anyway, that's how you add your hydration. I'm gonna go ahead and add seven more ounces. And then I'll go back to my page and you can notice that my hydration has increased by seven. So that's a quick look at how you enter hydration using your Garmin Instinct watch, primarily using the uh, Garmin Connect app. If you got any questions, as always, let me know. I'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.